Within the hour, the L.A. County District Attorney charged a suspect in connection with an attack that left an Oakland restaurant owner in a coma. Daniel Luna is now out of an ICU bed and back on his feet. KTVU's Jesse Gary has the latest now on his long road to recovery. He is not Steph Curry, but this could be one of the most inspiring basketball feats Bay Area fans have seen in decades. This is a real Christmas miracle in March. It's a wonderful story that Daniel has survived. Using a non-regulation sized ball and with the aid of braces and therapists, Daniel Luna shoots two during rehab in Southern California. It's a huge, all bit unsteady, step towards normalcy following a horrific and life altering incident. There was a belief that he might not ever walk again or be able to function. So his friends, his family are incredibly relieved by, by what's going on. Luna, owner of Oakland's Mistura restaurant, was punched and fell to the ground outside SoFi Stadium January 30th. He hit the back of his head, suffering a severe brain injury and was in a medically induced coma for weeks. He's now obviously out of coma and on the long road to physical recovery. It is wonderful when we see you know, early improvements. Uh, meaning within you know weeks after an injury has occurred, and that's always a great prognostic indicator. Uh, but we do see that that people still have a lot of recovery to do. Inglewood police arrested 33-year-old Brian Cifuentes for assault. Late Wednesday, the L.A. County District Attorney's Office charged him with one count of battery with serious bodily injury. This is a challenging case for prosecutors. What is key here is what led up to this altercation. If this was mutual combat, which was initiated by Mr. Luna, then the DA's office may not file charges, even though Mr. Luna was so severely injured. Friends hope there is resolution in the courts. It's so great to know that he's still with us on this planet and that people will hopefully be able to enjoy his company again uh, as he improves. Luna is hopeful he'll continue recovering with a goal of reopening his shuttered Peruvian restaurant as soon as next week. In San Jose, Jesse Gary, KTVU, Fox 2 News.